July 7th. All efforts of worth and excellence are difficult. Enter by the narrow gate, because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life. Matthew 7, verses 13 through 14. If we are going to live as disciples of Jesus, we have to remember that all efforts of worth and excellence are difficult. The Christian life is gloriously difficult, but its difficulty does not make us faint and cave in. It stirs us up to overcome. Do we appreciate the miraculous salvation of Jesus Christ enough to be our utmost for His highest, our best for His glory? God saves people by His sovereign grace through the atonement of Jesus, and it is God who works in you both to will and to do for His good pleasure. Philippians 2 verse 13. But we have to work out that salvation in our everyday practical living. Philippians 2 verse 12. If we will only start on the basis of His redemption to do what He commands, then we will find that we can do it. If we fail, it is because we have not yet put into practice what God has placed within us, but a crisis will reveal whether or not we have been putting it into practice. If we will obey the Holy Spirit of God and practice in our physical life what God has placed within us by His Spirit, then when a crisis does come, we will find that our own nature, as well as the grace of God, will stand by us. Thank God that He does give us difficult things to do. His salvation is a joyous thing, but it is also something that requires bravery, courage, and holiness. It tests us for all we are worth. Jesus is bringing many sons to glory, Hebrews 2 verse 10, and God will not shield us from the requirements of sonship. God's grace produces men and women with a strong family likeness to Jesus Christ, not pampered, spoiled weaklings. It takes a tremendous amount of discipline to live the worthy and excellent life of a disciple of Jesus in the realities of life, and it is always necessary for us to make an effort to live a life of worth and excellence.